So this article was done by, um, what's her name? Something Tyler, right? Not Steven Tyler, but, um, this article is by a woman. And the article says, if you can read, let me get the camera to focus. This is pretty funny. This is how awake and aware men are, ladies. I don't know why you all still play this shit, but it's pretty funny. This is a pretty funny article. And I was recently reading a meme, and I also saw one of the memes that I sent uh, was deleted. It's kind of hurtful, but okay. Um, it's fine, you know? It's fine. I gave a shit. I tried. Bitch don't want to try. Fuck it. Even though we click and we got along great. That, yeah, it makes total sense, by the way. Anyways, I was reading a meme from this hypocritical bullshit slash <clears throat> female alien species um, that said, if you suck good dick, you're loyal, marry that girl. Right. Well, which one's more important there? Out of all three of those things, the marriage... The dick sucking or loyalty? Well, to a guy, it's loyalty. To a woman, it's marriage and probably sucking dick, right? At least a straight woman, anyways. So, see, women, society, wants men to be decent to women. I always, I remember growing up with my mom, right? And I've known women who have, you know, single mothers who have sons that do the same thing. I want my boy to respect womans and to treat womans with respect and yeah, if you want him to never get laid, by all means, right? Um, luckily, at 16, my mom went to jail and I have to say, that was the best year of probably my life. It was, it was shocking, right, because I lost all my stuff, my house, you know. Uh, schools, I had to move, the state took me, you know, things like that. But the reason I say it was the best year of my life wasn't because I lost materialistic possessions. It was because I got to go to military school. I got to learn from other men the other side of the equation that my mom wasn't teaching me. Like how to stand up to, for yourself, right? How to say no to a woman who's a cunt. How to say no to anybody who's a cunt. How to be a man. A man. A man's man, right? A man that women would die for. Like the 300 Greek Spartans or whatever. Think of it like that. Okay? Fucking Battle of Thermopylae motherfucker over here. And that made me an amazing person. Right? Because now... I can see bullshit a mile away. Now, granted, that doesn't mean if I, you know, if I found a woman who was loyal to me, I would marry that woman, right? I'd give her the world. Um, even though I know marriage doesn't benefit me, if a woman's actually loyal and she puts in the time with me, I would, I would probably get married if I found one. I know many friends who have found loyal women, and they're not married, but they're happy. They don't, you don't need to be married to be happy. Um... At least not today anyways, but some women still want to get married and all that crap. But loyalty is key for a guy's happiness, right? Um, so again, if you if a guy did find a woman that was loyal to the core, right? He'd probably he'd wife her up. Um, and I would do the same. I'd wife her up. But, even then, you risk the chance of hurt and, again... As history repeats itself, um, like the woman that I was getting along with, everything was going fine, things don't work out, you know. That woman went from, I want to suck dick, get married, and be loyal, in one meme, to, I'm not happy, blah, blah, you know, change, so hot to cold, hot to cold. And... That pretty much sums up the Western female in a fucking nutshell. Now I'm going to explain what's going to happen here with this video. I'm already going to call it before we start it. It's, at, it's not even 14 minutes. Here's the timer on the right there. Zero out of seven minutes. This woman posted an article. I've slept with over 100 guys. I don't consider myself a slut. Well, men do. You are a slut. 
And no man knowing your name in this, because she posted her name in the article, because she's a dumb bitch. They now know her name. And they know what she looks like, because she has pictures on this article as well. So, they're not going to marry her. They're going to use her for sex, and sex only. They will never commit, propose, marriage. They'll never marry her. She's basically the... She's the whipped cream to the cake. She's not the cake itself. She's the whipped cream. The cake is the best part, though. The whipped cream just adds to the cake. But she's the whipped cream, right? She's the five seconds of fun. That's all she is. She's never going to be anything more than that at this point. The writer of this article. And what's going to happen with this is... The next 20 plus years, she'll keep running through dudes. Getting fucked. Pumped and dumped, right? And then eventually her time... To meet the Grim Reaper, death itself will come, or she'll be in her 50s and wonder why no guy wants to marry her. All her good years have gone, her childbearing years have gone, her loyalty years have gone, and she's fucked over maybe twice the amount of dudes in that time. Would you marry it at age 50? I wouldn't. Not in a chance in hell. I'd date it, I wouldn't marry it. Maybe. I, I wouldn't date this chick, obviously, but you get my point, right? That you wouldn't marry this broad. You would not commit to this broad long term. This broad is a pump and dump. Because if, you mind, if she's already slept with 100 guys, that means she's easy to get in the bed. All you gotta do is give her Snickers and she'll fucking bend over. <laughs> is it, do you think, that some feminists or, or, you know, modern women, you know, well, I'm free, it's my body, I choose what I want to do with my body, and then they worry about being called sluts. Why would that be a problem? I mean, it should be a badge of uh, empowerment. Because actions have consequences. They don't like the consequences. They just like the actions themselves. Always, always hypocritical statements from these dumb broads. It's always funny. It is what we're told. Oh yeah, I've banged a bunch of dudes. It empowers me. <laughs> when they know it doesn't. But uh, they gotta keep telling themselves <laughs> this delusion because of course feminism in the 60s worked to remove all social stigma about this topic. Oh, women are oppressed. Kelly Tyler. That's her name. <laughs> Kelly Tyler is her name. So there you go, gentlemen. If you ever want a fucking easy bitch, look at her name. Ready? Here you go, Kelly fucking Tyler. Easiest piece of ass you'll ever see. She's probably looser than a horse, though. It's not fair, because men are all out banging all kinds of chicks. Well, trust me, not all men are out banging all kinds of chicks. Men like my father, top shelf Chad, was banging all the chicks he wanted. But a lot of other men weren't. Feminism didn't like this. Oh, no, women, they should be able to do what these top shelf men... Yeah, see, that's the thing, right? It's like it's like the game companies where, like, if this game company can put loot boxes in their games, we should be able to put loot boxes in our game, too. It's only fair that we do it, too. It's fucking stupid. Uh, that's stupid thinking, okay? If you think like that, that's leading to the downfall of the West. So, ladies, if men sleep around, which, again, not all men sleep around. I don't sleep around. I just got dumped recently. Could I go on Tinder? Do I know social media sites of dating and all that crap exist? Could I pull a bunch of chicks if I wanted to? Absolutely. Have I? No. I went to Hooters and did a little social experiment. Cause, but it's a Hooters chick. We already knew that wasn't going to pay off. But um, that just shows you, right? That shows you that any like that builds your confidence up, right? That's It's a joke, obviously, having fun, right? The point is... It's easy. It's not hard for me either. Not at all. Because I'm a good looking dude. Women know that. I'm tall, dark, and handsome. Well, not dark. I might need a tan, maybe. But the point is I'm tall and I'm handsome. Okay? And I've got dark hair. There you go. So if I wanted to pull a chick, it would take me no effort at all on my part. I wouldn't have to do much. I could basically do it like one of these fucking feminist sluts. But I'm telling you that this woman is going to age at a rapid speed. She'll take more cocks. Her pussy will become looser and looser. And no guy is going to take her seriously to the point of marriage. Okay? And the reason for that 
is because at that point they know that she's so easy. I mean, if she's had 200 guys, what's 201? What's 202? 203? 204? 205? And that number also applies to years as well. Each year, new dude, new dude, maybe several new dudes each year, right? So you keep adding numbers, and when you do basic math, you know, addition, you'll know that the more time goes by, the older you get. The older you get, the less attractive you become. The older you get, certain things your body can't do anymore. The older you get, your tits start to sag. The older you get, health issues become more rampant. I love being right all the time. It's quite empowering, isn't it? But I'm not a feminist. Oh no. I'm a fucking straight jacket, bourbon smoking, piece of shit, asshole type of guy. I know the reality. The reality is, these old broads have hit the wall in their 50s, in their 60s. And then they're like, why does nobody want to marry me? Why does nobody want to commit to my old ass? Because you have no good years left. In 20, you'll be in a box or in the oven. And I'm not talking pizzas. Yeah, I'm going to hell. But you know what awaits me in hell? They're going to have a private VIP room for my badass. And it's going to have two devil bitches in there that are young sluts. Dressed in all black, high heels, red lipstick. Mmm, paradise. That's my paradise, anyway. But, um, that's where I'm going. Because I'm telling the truth. And women don't like the truth. They want to be lied to. Society enjoys being lied to. Because they're weak and pathetic. Not here. Not on this channel. Mm-mm. They're doing an bag everything in sight. And, of course, when the birth control pill proved to be not as effective as advertised, oh, well, they got to have abortion because, of course, no consequences are allowed for females in the West. Our society is constructed on that belief. So Donovan Sharp did a video, I'll link it below, to this article. I've had sex with well over 100 men. But that does not define me as a slut. What, why would it even occur to you to, to, to worry about this? Kelly Tyler, authoress of this piece in Medium. Why would you be ashamed to be called a slut? It's empowering. It's good. It's good, right? It's a question that comes up <laughs> sooner or later. But if you've been sexually active for 10 plus years, it's surprisingly easy. For a woman, it is. To rack up a number so big you can't even precisely recall. Oh my god. So she's probably... T and that's the difference between the sexes. Men don't need to go hunting 24-7. And neither do women. Women are just looking for the next resource drain. That's really all they're looking for. But like I said, after the, the woman I, that dumped my ass left, I've put money away. So who really won here? Not her, right? Because I put money away. Hell, let me, let, me, let me put it into perspective. I saw a car for sale that looked like a blue-ass Jeep with 24-inch rims that looked tacky as hell, by the way. And I could probably do it better with all my need for speed knowledge. But, um, it was like an SUV. A gas guzzler piece of shit, right? Going for $750. The best part about that vehicle? I can buy it. I could buy it if I wanted it. But I know that thing probably gets like less than 5 miles tops before it needs to be refilled. No thanks, I'll pass. I'm, I'm good. I'll just buy a motorcycle. A really fast bike. That says, I don't need a fuck with your bullshit. That's what it says. Because a motorcycle, especially a brand new one, is way cooler, in my opinion. I don't have to worry about anything. I don't have to worry about anyone's problems. It's freedom on a bike going at high speeds. It's like flying if you're in a plane, yeah. right? But you're on a bike, so you're grounded. All women had to do to, be, like, and that's the thing. You, you always hear these stories of men, like, uh, there was an article on the MGTOW Reddit. Do you know who Hugh Hefner is, right? The Playboy guy? You know he was married at one point, right? His wife ended up cheating on him. Once his wife left him for the other guy, he started up a thing called Playboy. 
and he became insta-famous immediately. How much you want to bet his greedy, hoary wife came back to him, crying and complaining? Baby, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! You, you've only made millions! I'm sorry! Fuck off, bitch. You made your bed. You can lie in it. Welcome to reality. 25, so she's been banging dudes since she's been 15. Of course, if I were a man, I would be celebrated for this. I understand where that could be possible, because it's a lot of work for most... I wouldn't even say he'd be celebrated. Most men don't even, like, guys that I know don't care. They don't, like, it's whatever, right? I mean, you sleep with a chick, she sleeps with you, you're both in sync, you both enjoy it. And then if you both have a relationship or whatever, or she leaves, if she's a prostitute and you pay her to leave, you know, then it's done. But, um, if it's a relationship, you're in it to win it, and she should be in it to win it, right? That's how it should be. That's, at least in my mind, that's the conception of a relationship. Um, but women just cannot commit. They can't stay loyal, they can't commit, something, some nerve in their system, because they're not from planet Earth, that's for damn sure. They're not from Earth, but they want the resources from Earth, like money and shit from men. They're always independent, too, they don't need no man, but then they fuck with men all the time, so it's it's really funny. It's, it's again, hypocritical, almost. <laughs> oh, man. I love destroying you cunts. So easy. Man, average men to get pussy. I mean, yeah, if you if you have no standards, you know, you can find some some chick at two o'clock in the morning at your local bar. But you know, if you want a, a fairly you know average quality, somewhat quality woman, you know, attractive, whatever, you no, know, it's difficult. Got to go through all the dog and pony shows. Got to be the clown. But see, he makes a good point, right? If you're an attractive guy, it should be pretty easy, right? If you put in the work, right? The problem with that though is. Just reading articles like this, shit, if she can get a hundred dudes, I could probably get a hundred chicks, right? If I tried. Here's the thing. Pussy's like toast. And I'm sure the women dick is like toast. That's why they rotate to a hundred dudes, right? So, you have to ask yourself the questions, right? Think to yourself for five minutes and just ask in your brain. Do I want this toast, or do I want actual toast? Well, if you're really hungry, you're going to want actual toast, right? And actual toast is really close to make. It's right there in your kitchen in your toaster. You can, and you just need to grab the bread, put it in the toaster, wait till it dings, pops out, and put some butter on it. There you go. You are satisfied. Look at that. You didn't even have to leave the house. Fucking amazing, huh? So, as a guy, to me... Yeah, pussy's good, you know, that's fine. I personally enjoyed the time I had with the last relationship more so than anything, right? The sex was great, don't get me wrong. But the time that we were getting along, I really enjoyed those moments and bonding with her and, and smiling and seeing her smile and all that stuff. Little things. It's a little girly to say, I know, don't, don't hate me just yet. But I enjoyed those things about her. What I didn't enjoy was the nagging, the constant complaining, the bitchy attitude, things like that. Those are the things I did not enjoy. But she, like myself, was playing the hot and cold game to see to gauge me, to see how I would react. I never stroke, you know, hit or anything, so I don't hit women unless it's on their ass, of course, in the bedroom. Um, but this chick was gauging my reactions right she was going from sweet and loving to um narcissistic and angry all the time you know bitter angry upset whatever so and i was doing the same thing sometimes i'd be the coolest guy in the world and tell her how much i love her and i you know not love her but how much i care for her or whatever and um stuff like that and other times I'm a dickhead right when she's being a bitter piece of work um I don't think that means that things needed to end I think it's a that was a perfect balance in my opinion because I mean there's you know there's gonna be things I I do that she might not like or 
um, and there's going to be things that she does that I won't like. So that's why it's a perfect balance. You've got to have that 50-50 balance, which we had. We had that to a T. Uh, but she's still left. That's why I'm saying. So you can still be a dickhead. You can be a dickhead 50% of the time, 75% of the time. And be a sweet gentleman 25% of the time. They will still fucking leave, dude. It don't fucking matter, right? If they want to leave, they will leave. That is why MGTOW exists. This is why right here. I've read several articles just this week alone. Talking about how women have had great boyfriends and they left their boyfriends without a second thought. And then women wonder why men won't marry them. Women wonder why men won't date them. Women wonder why MGTOW has grown to almost surpass feminist numbers. Yes, you didn't know that? About a week ago, an article came out where MGTOW is basically growing in numbers. And it, it reached a milestone. I think it reached about 5 million or something men or a bunch of men joining joined the MGTOW Reddit or something. Like it, it's The numbers are pretty high, right? More men every day are going to MGTOW. So think about it. The more women do shit like this bitch in this fucking article, the more men go MGTOW. That means they close the wallet and they go MGTOW, right? They say, fuck it. They're the fuck it guys. They walk away. Not dealing with that game. Losing battle. No point. Look at how many dudes she slept with, you know? There's your proof right there. And the best part about this Kelly Tyler bitch, her name's here. Her photo's here. We know what she looks like. The other best part about this Kelly Tyler bitch is... She's a depreciating asset at rapid speeds. No guy will marry her, ever. She's done. She's doomed to die alone as of now. Because every guy knows that if she slept with 100 men, again, what's 101? 102? 103? 104? 105? 106? So they don't even have to try with this broad. They don't need to spend any money on her. They know she'll suck dick if they just simply ask. She's a whore. She's just not a very good whore because she'd be getting paid for it. It's always funny, too. It's my body, it's my choice. Yeah, it is. Well, when you die with all the STDs and medical problems, you let me know how that goes then with your body, your choice. <laughs> You gotta dance, you gotta keep her entertained, you gotta buy her dinner, and maybe after two or three dates you might get the sniff or tuna. Maybe. But for women, however, you go to Tinder or something and swipe and, and you're getting banged in 15 minutes. And she even admits this. She says, I'm a woman, so many men simply call me a slut and refuse to date me, but still offer me the privilege of having sex with them. Yeah, men are not gonna care if you slept with a hundred dudes if they just want to get their dick wet. What? Son and see, he did a video on the, on this same topic, but from the female perspective, right? He did a video, uh, let me go ahead and highlight it so you guys can see. It says... I find it interesting his parents live in Florida, too, so... There you go. Even Florida has MGTOW members in it, for those who live in Florida. Let's see, where's the toilet one? The toilet one's my favorite. I can't find it now. But he did one recently of a toilet where basically women don't hate the guys they were with. They just don't care, right? And so... And then they say they want men to care. And then they change their mind again the next day and say, I want you to not care, let's say. Right? I was told exact I was actually told this by a woman to not care. So we gotta sit here and play this silent treatment card of not caring. That's so fun and stupid. Even though we got along great. Everything was going fine. But I'm not allowed to care. Okay, fine. You wanna go do your thing? Okay, fine. That's the reality? Okay, fine. But again, if proof is in the pudding. This shit's gonna backfire on this Kelly Tyler bitch. And there's plenty of other articles just by this James Vaughn Maxwell guy. Interesting name, by the way. 
um, where he covers women on YouTube who are crying they can't find a man who will marry them or who will settle down with them, who will give them, you know, the time of day, who only wants sex from them. You did it to yourself, ladies. No guy wants to wife you up anymore when you're being a cunt and a whore. So, if all you have to bring to the table is sex, why would any guy want to marry that? Loyalty. Respect. I'm going to play this one next, the Natalie one. I love Natalie. She's she's quite the individual. Signing up for a relationship with someone who has done such things, some men are just not going to do that. May I remind you, <laughs> it's your body, your choice to bang all these dudes. It's my body, my choice not to date you. I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> that's sex life is that's true. That is true. He's got a good point, doesn't he? That's pretty funny. <laughs> Obviously. In the comments section, she talks about going to orgies and shit. And it's like, you know, she, she's in the 500 range, dude. I, she, she talked about two orgies where she racked up over 10 different dudes per orgy. Okay. And eight partners per year. Oh, I'm sure her medical bills are going to be real expensive when she hits 40. On average, doesn't sound like that much to me at all. Well, of course it doesn't. There are many of us, and me included, in this freaking audience who've not had eight different women our entire lives. So, eight partners per year on average, uh, that sounds like a lot to your average non-Tyrone dude. Anyone's been single in a major city, not anyone, women. Women who have been single in a major city, no, you can line up a week's worth on Tinder dates in a matter of hours, probably even a matter of one hour. Sometimes multiple meetups in the same night. Can you even imagine? Coach Greg Adams was talking about this in one of his videos. It's like, yeah, these chicks, they want to go out to dinner at 4.30 because they've got two or three other dudes lined up for later. <laughs> Unbelievable. I regularly get tested. I suppose that's for STDs. I don't have daddy issues. And that's why... You don't pay for a woman's dinner, okay? Because those Tinder bitches, as I, I like to call them, they're on Tinder and they're rotating dudes to buy them free meals. And the dudes are so fucking thirsty for just a glimpse of the pussy that's been used, abused, and ran through, right? At rapid fucking speeds. But these women are conning men out of dinners. They're just going with these guys to get free meals. They might suck your dick, maybe, but... Do you really need a blowjob from a greedy whore? No, you don't. You could go get one from a quality whore. Like an actual escort. That's probably going to be better looking than the girl you took from Tinder. Damn! Shots fired. Did I just destroy so many souls? I know I did. I'm, I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. I don't give a shit. The point is, a woman who's loyal gets nice things. A woman who's decent, respectful kind, caring, I, I wouldn't go that far, but I would say loyal, right, if, as long as she's loyal, has a, has a, a balance of good traits and bad traits, like she'll stand up to the guy if he's getting out of line, or he's trying to stand toe to toe with her, I like a woman that can stand her ground, I always say that, at the same time though, I like a woman who's loyal, right, if she's loyal to the core, I'll wipe that bitch up. If she's not loyal to the core, I will not wife her up, okay? Kids are no problem. I don't either. I figure most women in their 30s have children, so. Really? Have you been diagnosed by a professional? And I was not abused as a child. It's great. Fantastic. I'm, I'm happy for you. As one guy wondered aloud as we lay in bed after fucking, maybe you you were doing triple monkey butt double back with <laughs> On this guy, he's like, this chick's freak. Where'd she get uh, these ideas from? But it does seem to be a sticking point with guys when it comes to relationships. No shit. We're not going to pay full price for a used freaking car. Oh, Damn! Car. Did he but just say that? Did he just say that? Did he just say what I've been saying the whole month? Holy shit, he did. Another YouTuber with 7.8k views on the video and a growing popularity said the same thing I did a month and a half ago. And he's this video is obviously older than when I made the videos recently, but there you go. More men are waking up to it. We're not going to pay full retail or full full price, full retail for a used and abused car. I'm not going to go to a dealership and buy their worst car on their lot. 
I'm going to buy the nicest car on their lot if I can, or somewhere in between. But I'm not ever going to pick up the one that's broken down, beat up, and a piece of shit. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> oh man, you women really are doomed, aren't you? Analogy, because that's the way men think. Here's a beat up 300,000 mile car and a brand new one. But they're the same price. Well, which one am I going to buy? Duh. I mean, is it really that hard to understand? No. So she asks herself, maybe I should just lie. Why would you lie? Where is a badge of empowerment? I'm doing what I want with my body and if you men don't want to, don't want to. So the best part about a woman who lies is if the guy really wants the answer, he'll get the answer either way, right? You could... If she's fucking a dude sleeping, if he wants to go through the phone and see how many dudes she's hitting up, he'll know his answer right then and there. So, there you go. Or she'll feel guilty about it eventually after sex and eventually come clean. Or you could just, you know, roofie the shit out of her. Have a relationship with me? You're a misogynist pig! It shouldn't matter my body count, but should I lie about it? Hmm. Does it matter or doesn't it? Because it sounds like you think it matters. <laughs> but honestly, hmm. it's not something that I'm embarrassed about. Well then, hey, blast it out on uh... Well, guess what? It definitely don't matter now if she lies or not. Because now we know her name. Kelly Tyler from this post. And I guarantee you if we got her last name. And you have pictures right there too. There it is. Nice and bold. Right fucking here. Can't run now, bitch. We know what you look like. You know, uh, Twitter, hey, I fucked 500 dudes. Come and marry me. My collection of cats crushing student loans. What did you take? Oh, journalism? <laughs> How's that minimum wage gig working out for you? And pitiful excuse for a car <laughs> are things that embarrass me. Not my number. Well, why would you even consider lying about it then? You should be bragging about it. Get a t-shirt. <laughs> 500 dudes and counting. You want to be 501? I mean, who wouldn't want that? How about you guys? Do you share your number of sexual partners with those you are dating or in relationships with? How many is too many? Honest feedback appreciated. Look, a different... T like I said, when I was 19, I went on a crusade of sorts to fuck any female I found attractive. And I did. I did. I slept with plenty of women when I was 19. But I was young, right? I was one of those unique guys he, he described at the beginning of the video. Um... Or, in, sorry, in his other video, which I did a video on that we didn't cover. But when you're young, when you're 19, that's the time to do what this chick did. Once you hit the age of 25 into your 30s and 40s, you should be mature enough to hopefully settle down, right? Like, I'm not saying you can't have sex. Just find a guy that will put up with your shit long enough to put up with your shit and get married and... You know, have a family and do the the proper way that things used to be. Right? I'm not asking you to be a stay-at-home mom or a woman or whatever. If you want to go to work, fine. But come home to me every night. Okay? Loyalty. Simple. Not hard to do. But for women, it is. And because this bitch, it's her body, her choice. She even admitted, though. Should I just lie about the number? Well, you can't lie now, Kelly Tyler. We know your name. So now we know that if I ever met you in, like, a New York City bus station, I'm not going to date you. Hell, I ain't even going to buy you a handbag purse or anything. I ain't taking you to dinner either. If I do, you're splitting the bill. If not, I'll make you pay the whole thing. Because why would I pay for you? I already know you're easy just by this fucking number. God, these women are so stupid. Dude, let's see. Let me do my math. 52 weeks in a year divided. That's like every six weeks you're banging another dude on average. Every six weeks. And she wonders why guys won't get in a relationship with her. Maybe maybe all that dick made her retarded. <laughs> maybe that's what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. Yep, exactly. That. Yep, all the DNA she's been filled up to the brim with has made her brain just like a fucking fighter plane crashing into a mountain. In one year, you've had more different ass than most men, average men, have had in their entire lives. Is that too many? I don't know. I guess it depends on the dude. 
If it bothers him, I guess it's too many. If it doesn't, I guess it's not. But here's the situation you're going to find yourself in, Kelly. In about five years, you're going to notice the guys that you've been banging ruthlessly are going to be banging girls five years younger than you. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they can. And nobody's going to marry you up. You tell them, I, oh, you know, I've been 500 different. Why? I'm experienced sexually. I mean, I'd be surprised if your vagina even works anymore. I'm He's right. They won't marry her. I mean, she could be a good-looking MILF, probably, and they'll probably pump and dump her at the MILF age, but they're not going to marry her, right? They're going to marry the 18- and 20-year-old girls that can still have children. I mean, good Lord, everything wears out, doesn't it? So that's what we're talking about here. There will be lots of guys that will bang. You can even get tens. You can get college basketball players and athletes and musicians, rock stars and shit. They'll bang you, but they're not going to marry you up. And that's where you have a problem. You've said it several times in here. They don't want to have a relationship with me. No. James Maxwell, thanks for listening. Okay, Juliet. Oh, uh, yeah, Juliet. I like all these women that try to argue their stupid points. But this one's my favorite. We're going to play this one next, and then I'll stop it here. But I'm just going to show you these dumb females, because these females are just mm, so glorious. Proving why the modern female is just a waste of your time. Where is she? Where's Natalie? Natalie, I miss you. Where are you, baby? Oh yeah, this video. Women do not hate you, they just do not care. Yep. Just accept the reality. Don't care back. If she wants to reach out, let her to reach out. Otherwise, fuck that bitch. Alright, here we go. Where's Natalie? Natalie, where are you? You fucking whore. Natalie, I miss you. Where are you, Natalie? Why can't I not find fucking Natalie? She was here earlier. Natalie, Natalie, Natalie. Poor bitch. There it is. This is going to be a long the one, wall. Guys. The wall. The wall. So, Natalie, if you don't know this chick, is a woman on YouTube, and her comment section is full of MGTOW men. Of course it is. But she also doesn't know how to social media, at least on YouTube, probably, because she's probably an Instagram single mom, right? She is a single mom. She's got, I think, two children, judging by one of her videos that I've seen on her channel. And, uh... They're pretty loud in the backgrounds. They run around the house screaming, stomping, you know, causing a ruckus. Nothing wrong there. They're kids, you know, they're just trying to have fun. But Natalie is the prime example of the wall. And I'm going to tell you what the wall looks like. So here we go. Ready? Look at that chin. Look at that face. Look at those wrinkles. Look at all that paint right there up at the top. You see it? You see the tan line? You notice how she's a white woman... But her head is really dark in this. You would guess right if you said that's makeup. Yes, it's makeup. There's quite a bit of makeup there. And a lot of eyeliner too. She's trying to make it look like she's young and pretty. And she's 20 years old. We know the truth. Now, the reason Natalie's one of my favorite single mothers isn't because she's attractive. Oh no. Right? I don't care if a woman wears makeup or not. That's her face. And if she thinks it's going to make her look good in 20 years, she's mistaken. But... Plus, I like natural beauty, so I like a woman that can take off her makeup at the end of the night and sleep next to me and she'll be fine. You know, she's confident in herself. Um, so she doesn't have to be thin. I don't like, oh, like super overweight chicks, but I'm just saying, like, a woman that's confident in her looks, right? They won't sit there and be like, oh, I wish I was slimmer or something. You know, like, cutting herself. I don't like women that do that. Like, they cut themselves down or whatever. So... Natalie, though, is an interesting single mom because she's pretty fucking stupid, right? It, it makes sense why she's probably had two or three bastards and no guy stuck around with her. That or she's damaged mentally. 
And judging by her coherent responses that she likes to give in this video that I'm about to play, you can tell she's damaged. But let's, let's see. Let's see what Natalie has to say. Let's see if it's real intriguing stuff. <clears throat> I would grab a beer, as I have uh, <laughs> what to do, but it's only 8.30 in the morning. I can't have one until like 8.35. So let's, let's jump in and see what uh, Natalie has to say. Natalie has a video called Feminism. Do men have a choice? Like, men's, like the system seems to think that there's a choice, but like, no, like, women are waking up. We're realizing how much we contribute. Yes, you are. Natalie, you're contributing. We're realizing how intelligent we are. Do not conflate education with intelligence. Two different things. We're realizing how hard... Now, I just favorited a video by Trevor Noah, who's a complete cuck of a channel anyways, but the video in question is what he covers is the topic. And the topic is pretty much what I've been saying, as well as many MGTOW men. Men don't care if you're educated. They don't care if a woman makes a bunch of money. Men aren't materialistic creatures. Only women are. So, when you have that mindset, you damn well know how women are, right? They're just after your fucking money. They're all gold diggers. Put it that way, okay? Whereas men, we don't care if you're educated, bitch. What we care about is, are you loyal, right? Or semi-decent of, of a human being, right? Can you suck my dick good? And can you please me when you're not giving me sex, right? Like, again, do you have a good personality? Are you fun to be around? Are you socially chill and cool and hip and fun, you know, and loving and all that crap? If you're all those things, you're fine. <sighs> Why do women always bring up education like it's a, an argument? It's only feminists that bring up education. Like, you're not educated. Yeah, well, I'm also not 100K in student debt, which... If you want to go get your education, you can be 100k in student debt. You can pay that off. You want to go pay off that student debt? Have fun. But see, women, they don't pay off student debt. They have cucks, white knights, and manginas that pay off student debt. Or they have daddy government pay off student debt. They won't, they won't pay it off themselves. Because they're leeches. That's pretty much their existence on planet Earth, right? They're there to leech off everything and everything they can. And when men wake up to that, the men, even the leeches that are supporting the leeches, right? The men, the manginas, the cucks, the simps that support these women in their dumb choices, or stupid choices, I should say. When they wake up and cut them off, women will die. Or they'll have to date women, and I have a great video for that one coming up later in the week. On how that actually backfires. <laughs> We're working. We're realizing how much it takes to run a home. Running a home is almost like a full-time job, isn't it? How much it takes to run a family. Yeah. How much it takes to have a job. How much it takes to pay all of these bills. Isn't that what feminism want to get out of that house? Get out of there. You gotta go be a wage slave. And now you got it. And you don't like it. How much <laughs> of that? I'm shocked, That's actually. True. Just That's shocked. True. We're being required to provide? In order to be a part of our society, a part of our community. No, 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 no. You, you still have a choice. Under the patriarchal oppressive system, you could be a stay-at-home mother. You could be one of those patriarchal women's if you want to. You choose not to. I saw an article of a woman who was a career woman that was posted, I think, today. Undead Chronic covered it today. But basically, the woman is a career woman. She works a high-paid job or whatever. And she hates it. She wants to be a woman that can be a stay-at-home woman, wife or whatever, right? But she chose the career path. And because of that, time went by quicker than she realized, you know, before this realization to lead to the article. And now she's 40, mid-40s, can't have kids. And no guy's going to marry her. Because he, no guy cares about her wealth, right? So, what does she offer? She offers some MILF time, and that's about it. So you, you think the choices you make should have no effect? It should be what? And how little we're being valued for it. You're valued as much as you provide value. You see, just because you show up doesn't mean you're valuable. Do, do you get it? Are you providing value? 
That's the question. And we're not fucking confused about it. Potty mouth, Natalie. We're all talking. Are you saying anything, though? That's the question. Every single woman I know is talking <laughs> about what's going on in her life and how, you know, this is the expectation and it's not matching up and like... You mean feminism lied to you? Oh my god, you're finally realizing it. All of this stuff. Yeah. There, we're... Notice how she keeps saying, like, like every five seconds and hasn't actually came to the discussion point of the topic that she's trying to come across. Like, she's not saying, like, well, feminism this and feminism that. It destroyed this. Like, she doesn't mention what she wants to get out, you know? So, it... <laughs> Every time I watch this video, I think I become stupider because I can't take this woman. This woman's just funny, though, because this, he's right, right? James Vaughn Maxwell is right that Natalie was sold the feminist lie, but she woke up to the realization that it's not making sense now, right? But look how old she is. Her youth is gone. Her childbearing years are gone. Her pumping and dumping in her earlier years when she was fucking around and cheating on every dude she was with are gone. She's got nothing of value anymore. What does she bring? Two kids from two other dudes and old used up woman skin. And maybe a semi-tight vagina, maybe, if she hasn't had sex in a good while. But judging by her response or what she's trying to get out, because I don't even think this is like basic English for a woman. She's hit that point to where I understand why no guy would want to be around this chick long term. Think about it. If I'm having trouble reaching conclusions, you can tell that she's having an effect on me. Run away. <laughs> Run away. So Natalie is one of my favorites because Natalie has like this cancer vibe of stupid that will spread to other people if you watch her long enough. That's why I don't watch her all the time anymore because I, I can't take it for more than five minutes. But uh, there you go, right? Natalie can't keep a dude because she has nothing on offer to keep a dude. She fucked around in her good years, and now she's old, bitter, and miserable for it. That's, that's not a man's fault, though. Her actions led to her consequences. Accountability. Loyalty and accountability. Ladies, you can't get these two things down if it smacked you in the fucking face like a dick. And until you fucking do, no guy is going to put up with you. Ever. Like, long term. No marriage. He might date you, right? But he's not gonna marry you. Natalie is definitely alone. I can tell you. She's been alone for quite some time. Judging by her her recent videos on YouTube. She's She's been single for a very long time. Because I never see her with a dude. So I know she's been single for a long time. <laughs> all talking. We're all talking to each other right now. But are you saying anything? <laughs> you can decide whether or not you're going to listen to us. I need to go get my Just beer. For the next five minutes. <laughs> you can sit back and say, oh, this is going to blow over. It is. Feminism has gone way, way, way too far. Pendulum has swung, and as we know, since you're intelligent, pendulums must swing back. Mm -hmm. Right, but like... No, you probably don't. <laughs> Gender studies. What do you think's gonna happen yep. when you don't? Do you think we're just gonna sit back and say, like, oh, you know what, it's cool, like, like, you know, we, we were wrong. We didn't, we didn't know what we were talking about. Look at it this way. Like, like, Chad at the football practice in high school, like, uh, he really is cute, and I, I, like, I, like, when I, 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 fuck him. I feel like I'm in high school all over again, but this woman's in her 40s now. This is a 40-year-old woman, white woman, in her 40s, two children. 
Hi, yes, I'd like to contact the, the African Embassy. Do you have a civil war going on there? Do you know the uh, Lord of War, Nicolas Cage guy? Is he... I know he's in a movie, obviously. But um, if you ever have any extra AK-47s, uh, I would like one fully loaded, please. Um, I need to hunt a cow later uh, today. Preferably this Natalie bitch, because she is so fucking stupid. And she breathes... Like, she breathes uh, the same air that I breathe. So, that means that she's polluting all of us. <laughs> we need to get rid of her quick. Hurry up, call 911. Someone get her under surveillance, please. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Natalie. Never really grew up, did you? In the, at least in the mental state, anyways. Wait, Natalie, you still believe in the wage gap? As a feminist, do I have to say more? We didn't know how smart we were. <laughs> Education does not mean you're smart. You know what? You're right. Yeah. Please. I'm Thanks. sorry. Can you convince me again that I should, like, what, sit back down, be quiet, not be as intelligent I, as I am? Like, How do you not be as intelligent as you are? <laughs> I think you're referring to, oh, I'm just going to act dumb because, uh, you know, I <laughs> threaten a man or something. Like, like, men are threatened by intelligent women. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right. Like, no, when a woman tells me she's like intelligent or educated, you know what I do? I just like, I'm like, that's cool. I'm gonna go get my beer now and smoke. See you in five minutes when I give a shit. <laughs> Where do you think it's gonna go? So right now, women are talking to you. And not saying anything. What are these things women are talking about? Yeah, what are they? If, I'm if you, still curious. If you could flesh that out for us a little bit, it might be more of an interesting conversation. <laughs> women are speaking to you. They're asking you. They're inviting you in. How you doing, baby? They're telling you, hey, this is what I need. This is what I'm looking for. This is what's happening in my world right now. If you need some... Wait, no, stop. I forgot. I forgot. This is going to be a long one. God. Yeah, she's... Oh, let's back, back, go back. Sorry, I accidentally clicked off i was laughing so hard <laughs> thanks god in heaven thank you thank you lord we're gonna start did you know that 60 percent currently 60 percent of marriages are ended by women yeah cash and prizes i only think that number is going to get higher eh, for no a while, shit but you know there is a group of men who are just not wanting to have anything to do with marriage they're called misogamists you might notice the slight difference between that and misogynists, <laughs> but you're an intelligent person. I'll leave it to you to figure out what I'm saying. And more work, we realize that the places that we are undervalued, that we are literally trying to do everything, and we are undervalued. I, trying to do everything, right? Yeah, no, I'm yeah. not saying that that's every marriage. I think that there are amazing, incredible men out there who are listening and are ready and are waking up. The incredible men who are waking up and they're ready to go. They're ready to get back on that plantation. <laughs> oh, right, Natalie. Yeah. Oh, I, I keep forgetting. You're you're intelligent and you you live in the real world. Gotcha. But like. The majority of this, that's not what we're encountering. I wonder why when you shoot at the top 10 or 20 percent of men who have choices with respect to dating and marriage, they're not signing up. I just, who would ever guess? Okay, so... So men do have choice when it comes to that. When you, as a woman, <laughs> start to value yourself and start to feel these things about yourself and start to know what you're contributing and what you're giving, you're not just going to sit back and say, okay, I'm, I'm okay with this. You're not going to con get convinced to get put back in that bad situation. You're going to do something about it. Get back in the kitchen. <laughs> Sorry, I'm falling asleep by Natalie's overuse of valuing myself and self-respect and blah, 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 Look, ladies, I, I want to teach you something, okay? Men don't give a shit about all that nonsense, okay? We just want you to be loyal. We want you to be a good woman and loyal. Simple. I respect myself. I value myself. I take pride in my, in my slutty behavior. I, I work hard, I provide for my kids, but I'm miserable and bitter all the time, and it's a man's fault, it's not my fault, it's a man's. It's always a man, I, it doesn't take two to tangle, but it's a man's fault, and I won't be accountable for it. God, just kill yourselves if you think this way, please. Do the world a favor. What's your game?
Uh, it's it's hard to keep track sometimes of the latest um, the latest uh, you know talking points from these people. But I think that's what she's getting. Well, we're just not going to come back out of our out of our shitty jobs and you know go back in the kitchen. I like how yeah Natalie says women aren't going to come back or whatever, but she's basically just like she's basically describing what MGTOW already did what ten years ago, five years ago. MGTOW's been around a while. Um, but recently, MGTOW has kicked off because the new generation and millennial men are waking up to women's bullshit. Western women are damaged products. They obviously can't think on a clear-headed level because we have Natalie, obviously. That's just one example. I know many women that are very much like Natalie. Uh, not not a good sign for the future at all. So, and don't get me wrong, she's got more videos and all the MGTOW guys just have a field day with her comment section. So if you want to get popular in a very negative way, ladies, say some dumb feminist shit on MGTOW's platform, which is YouTube. Even though YouTube's technically ran by a feminist CEO... I won't name her name because she's not worthy of my time. But, um. <laughs> Men on YouTube are ruthless. If you preach dumb shit and don't state facts or any logical thing that should be coming out of your mouth, they will destroy you in the comment section. And for good fucking reason. Men are sick of it. We're tired of it. We've had enough. And, and be a housewife. Because that would suck. And you're going to keep trying to do something about it until something changes. Uh -huh. I'm what, getting what so annoyed be? with Natalie. I can't Natalie, take anymore. This would be a much more interesting video if you actually address some of the issues that you believe are causing you problems yes then we could have a real conversation yeah you know seven minutes of woo <laughs> is not helping so whether that's your dating situations your marriages the jobs that you're working in like you are going to lose access to massive amounts of intelligence and you're going to lose access to massive amounts of pussy, love and support pussy, and all of these pussy, things that these wonderful pussy, powerful women pussy, are trying to pussy, pussy, communicate with you pussy, the women who pussy. speak well you were guys we're gonna lose massive amount of support to pussy Oh no, whatever will we do? I know, sex robots are a thing. And they don't bitch, complain, whine, or cry. And they're cheaper than your average divorce. Mm, you smell that? It's called uh, gunshots being shot off at a woman's head. Preferably Natalie's, because oh my god, she's stupid. For an educated woman, Natalie, you are very fucking dumb. You're dumb, bitch. You're fucking dumb. God, I, w I really do wish I had a pistol right now so I could put it to my head and blow my head off. I haven't even done drugs yet. Like, I haven't gotten any weed yet. I haven't done any cocaine yet to warrant the amount of anguish my brain is going through right now from all the stupid shit Natalie has said. Dear fucking Christ. Like, Natalie, James Von Maxwell said it. Said it best. Who are these people that are saying all these things that you have an issue with? Tell us who they are. Men? Women? Aliens? Dinosaurs? Chuck E. Cheese? Fucking Mickey D's? Whoever it is, right? Who the fuck is it? Tell us who it is. That you have an issue with. And what the problems are. Not, we're gonna do something about it. We're going to do something about it. I'm going to do something about it because I value myself. Okay, that's awesome. I'm proud of you for valuing yourself. Awesome. Good kudos to you, bitch. But you're not an educated woman. That's for damn sure. You, you think you are. And you might have that educational paper. That little thing in the plaque there. But you're not very bright, lady. Your YouTube videos scream volumes on how sorry the school felt for you when they gave you the certificate of appreciation. <laughs>
speaking out right now are the women of the future. They are the women who are going to create change. Who are what uh, What would that look like? Yeah, what is change? What, what, change what kind of change like are you making, action? ladies? Yeah, like, what kind of change? Last I checked, our president was a male, and all the female runner-ups kept getting knocked the fuck out. So, making real change, ladies. What, what change are you ladies making, huh? Being single moms, raising kids that go to jail? Without a dad, without a father figure in their lives? What change are you making? What do you bring to the table? How many men serve in the U.S. military compared to women? What kind of change are you making? Sleeping around? That's it? Really? That's all you got to bring? Damn. That's some real groundwork for society. I'll wait. What kind of change are women making for the world? Tell me. In my comment section. I'm interested. If you say feminist or sleep, you know, feminism or sleeping around, you have nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. She doesn't actually say anything. We're going to participate in your companies who are going to um, raise amazing families. Like, we're. Well, according to Wall Street and many other male establishments and companies, they don't want to deal with women without another person present. This includes promotional meetings, lunches, dinners, etc. Company meetings, dinners, etc. Because of the Me Too movement. So, the moment a guy's alone with a woman, he's fucked. And most times, guys that are alone with women, they have a compadre nearby. Or somebody, at least in the workplace. Um, and for good reason. And some businesses have actually banned dealing with women all the fucking together. Because of women's bullshit and stupidity. Kind of like Natalie's here. We're trying. We are out here, like, doing our absolute best, I'm right? Sleep Do you want a medal? And so, <laughs> if you're ignoring the things you're saying, what do you, Do you think want a medal? <laughs> all of that intelligence and all of that power and all of that love and all of that stuff that we have, we're asking you to work with us. No, sure, you're not. Sure, I'll work with you, Natalie. You don't want to work with us? No. We're going to step out. Go no. ahead. That's one of the benefits of the patriarchal evil oppression. <laughs> is you, you can do exactly that. You could, you could go start your own business if you want. Uh, we're going to step out. We'll start our own company. Yeah. Go and for it. for ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take care of each other. Mm, no, you won't. But <laughs> our government is going to represent us. Our partners will. Time and time again, and you could do YouTube searches of this, women that have been like, uh, there was a Survivor episode a, a couple of years ago, where the, all these women got to this island, right, and they were, it was guys versus girls, and the women were just sitting there putting on their makeup, not building their tents, not creating their fire, and a tropical storm was coming in the moment they got on the island, like the night that they arrived or whatever, so they had to build their... They had, like, that entire afternoon to get their shit together and build their shit. And they were too busy playing with their makeup and talking about getting tans and stuff during the day. And then that night, when the, when the tropical storm hit, they had no tents. They had nothing. All their clothes got wet, suitcases, everything, because they did not plan. So in the morning, the guys have a fire started. They have, you know, a, a t like, housing situation shut up. And the women are instantly, like... Hey, boys, can you help us over here? I'm going to clench my tits together so you can save us. They eventually had to help the women because the show felt bad and they didn't want to come off as sexist, but um, it's not sexist. It's just biological, right? Women will never be on the same footing as men when it comes to the foundations of civilization. Men build bridges. Men build roads. Men fight wars you cunts can't do any of those things without complaining whining or crying or sleeping your way to the top fuck out of here you don't want to represent us the people around us don't want to hear us don't want to represent us like we're not going to sit down you're trash you're trash i wouldn't want to hear you either natalie because you're garbage you're human garbage you're trash you are like the mcdonald's rapper Jesus Christ. Woman in her 40s acting like a complete fucking retard. Is female. So if you believe the government... You would have thought that bitch would have matured already. Holy shit. 
government is not representing your needs and your wants and your desires and your concerns, elect the people that will. It's up to you. Like, listen to us. No. Hear us. No. That's what we're asking for. No. We no. Don't, we don't want to revolt. <laughs> we want to have a conversation with you. Uh, Natalie, women couldn't revolt if you paid them to, okay? Because women need men. They may never admit this, they do need men, right? Every woman that's a feminist that says she's strong, independent, do you know what she does? She's talking to men! She must be real independent then, huh? Real strong, independent females. I hate you cunts that say this shit. I'm independent, I don't need no fucking man. But yet you're talking to like 50 dudes on the side anyways, you fucking hypocrite. And no, Natalie, women will never revolt. You know why? Because you bitches can't hold an M16 the proper way. Your boy here can. I've held an M16, and I've held pistols, and I've held rifles. And I shot all of them with pure accuracy. Bitches can't do this. Unless they go through rigorous... Uh, can't say it. Vig uh, you know what I mean. Good, well-off training, right? They have to be patient enough to deal with that. But they're too busy on their smartphone, looking on Tinder and Instagram, trying to take pictures of their selfies. You bitches ain't shit. Men build roads. Men build bridges. Men fight wars. Men fi uh, fly uh, fighter jets. Men command the naval battleships. Men build nukes and missiles. To protect the world. Men harvest oil. Men fight in bars. What do women do? Nothing. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. My husband's a deadbeat. My baby daddy's a deadbeat. Why won't this guy take care of me? Why won't this guy marry me? I'm only 50. He should marry me. Fucking scum of the earth, man. Sickening. Oh, yes. Everybody wants to have a conversation. <laughs> we want to tell you, hey, man, this is what I need. I don't care what you need. Whatever you need, you're a strong, powerful, bicycle, fish, woman, go can get it. That's what feminism <laughs> told us. Women can do whatever they want to do. Well, freaking do it then. Hey, you know what? I need a little bit of flexibility because I got to go nurse my kid, but I'll come back with all the same amount of intelligence that I showed up with to begin with. Having children is a choice. How you expect society to pay for your choice is beyond my comprehension. If you don't want to have children, don't, don't have them. But then yeah. don't burden the rest of society with <laughs> your choice. Do you hear me, Natalie? Hey, I need you to say something nice to me. No, Natalie doesn't hear you because Natalie's so far in cuckoo land. She's gone full retard on us a long time ago. I need you to say something nice to me. <laughs> oh my God! What? What the? Natalie sounds like my mom. My mom's always like, you know, Max, you gotta be nice. You gotta say nice things to me. I'm like, bitch, I don't gotta say nice things to you at all. She's like, why are you talking to me like that? I'm your mother. I'm like, I still don't have to say nice things to you if I don't want to. To get nice responses, you have to be a decent human being. If you're being a cunt, I will not be nice. It doesn't matter if you're my mom, if you're my girlfriend, if you're my wife. And I'm not, I've never been married, so thank God. Positive, decent human behavior gets positive, decent human behavior. If you're a cunt, I'm going to be a dick or an asshole or whatever term you want to use, bitches. I don't give a shit. But if you're a decent woman, if you're loyal, and you're fun to be around, then I will give you the same respect, and I will do the same in return. That's how it works. I hate women that do this. You need to be nice to me. You need to treat me better. But you wouldn't like it anyway. Shut the fuck up. Fuck. I worked my ass off today. Well, again, you want a medal? You worked your ass off today, like men have been doing since the beginning of time, every day, in yep. many times thankless, shitty jobs. Yes. Just to support their family. Yep. Like, women are talking. We're asking for the things we need. I don't care what you need. Yep. You can... I don't care what you need either, bitch. You chose feminism. You wanted to go work nine to five? You wanted all the rights of a man? Well, there you go. You have them. Congratulations. Why are you complaining again? Why have you been complaining for five minutes? And then... 
suddenly you don't like them and now you want the rules to switch back to the modern housewife. Well, should have thought of that before you took up the mantle of being a feminist cunt, huh? Get it yourself. Don't you think? We're not trying not to communicate with you. You're not saying anything. That's the problem. You're, you're, you're spewing out a lot of words, but there's no meaning. There's no content. Remember, she says she's intelligent, though, so we should take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> in what you're saying. So if you're going to dig your feet in the sand... Your head in the sand. But... And not listen? No. That's not going to be that women opt out and decide to just stay within the system. Some will. You know why? Because it benefits them. Yep. It's going to be that you lose access. I don't think she means lose access to the booty. I think she means losing access to all these wonderful, intelligent, beautiful, lovely women in your business. No. I don't care if I lose pussy, to be honest. Pussy is pussy. It's like a stray cat. You always know, see stray cats out there fucking one another all the time. That's how I think of women. Women in the modern time are stray fucking cats. The moment they offer value and loyalty, like I said, value being something other than sex, to the relationship, is the moment I might semi-take one seriously. I haven't seen it yet, though. I'm going to be waiting a long time to see it, probably. That's okay. But when I see it, then maybe I'll marry it, right? If it's loyal, if it's got... A decent personality, like I said, is loyal to me, and me only. It comes home to me every night. It's not always looking for a fight 24-7, but also not looking to be a peace-loving hippie 24-7. Then we'll probably get somewhere. Until then, I'm just laughing. I think it's funny. Um, you know, businessmen and businesswomen, if they can take advantage of you and use you as a wage slave, they'll figure out a way. Don't worry about it. So, anyway. Government likes that, too, because then you get to pay taxes. That's my thoughts. Obviously, again, mm. another controversial topic, but, yeah. like, I don't know. What do, you, what do you want for the future, I guess? Like, I want to go my own way and stay far away <laughs> from women like you, Natalie. James Maxwell, thank you for listening. So, go subscribe to Mr. Maxwell. Pretty intelligent guy, obviously. Knows what he's talking about. Natalie, though, oh, man. You poor sap. Poor soul. You really doom to fail women everywhere, Natalie. You make them look all stupid. This video comes off harsh. That's the point. It's supposed to. I'm not here to sugarcoat the bullshit that ladies speak on a daily basis, especially on YouTube when they have nothing of substance. I'm intelligent. I make lots of money. Okay, no guy in their right mind cares about that. We just want to know if you're a decent woman to be around, if you're going to be loyal to us, and if, you know, love us for us, just like we love you for you, right? Again, women can't do that, though. They're all about the material possessions. And again, until I find one that can be that way and not be a basic hooer, like all the other billions of basic <coughs> whores I'll be impressed I haven't been impressed yet though so and it's funny because the basic whore is never going to get married and never going to get commitment so enjoy dying alone with all the diseases and old age fun fun times sounds like a lot of fun my name's been Joy. I'm gonna go get some fucking drinks now because I'm fucking thirsty and I want some. See you guys next time. Enjoy the video.